It's common for a long-running video game series to include callbacks to previous entries in new games. In the Mario games, this is often done in the music. For example, in Super Mario Odyssey's song, Jump Up Superstar, the band plays a jazzy arrangement of music from the original Donkey Kong. Fitting, as this song is featured in New Donk City. This is a cool Easter egg for longtime fans. They definitely took Mario music in new directions in this game. Earlier in the game, the Wooded Kingdom's steam gardens are accompanied with this jazzy tune. This is without a doubt my favorite track in the game. There is a callback here too. The background keys are reminiscent of the character select music from Super Smash Bros. As noted in yesterday's Did You Know Gaming's episode on Super Mario Odyssey, the music from this area was directed with a 60s theme in mind. This is definitely the vibe I get from this track. Randomly, I think I may have happened upon a potential inspiration for parts of this track. This is Isola Natale, a track off of the 1967 album Open by Brian Auger, Julie Driscoll, and the Trinity. The tracks have a lot of differences, but the similarities are striking to me. Certain musical tropes are common in certain styles, so I don't know if this is an example of direct inspiration or parallel development. Further, I'm not very familiar with the jazz scene in the 60s, and it is likely there are plenty of other examples that could be pointed to. So what do you think? Is there a resemblance, or am I off base here? Do you know of any other examples? My challenge to myself this week was to produce a video every day on a timely video game topic. My goal for each video was to be relevant and quick as to not waste your time. This video marks my sixth video in six days. I made a playlist if you want to see the rest of this week's content. Thank you for your support and comments. Please subscribe and watch for new videos in the future. Have a great day.